Hey guys, Cindy Williams here from Careers on Vacation. We have the amazing Tony from Legacy Family Travels. Tony, how are you this morning? I'm good, thank you. So tell us a little bit about where your business was before you took the Careers on Vacation program and where you are now. Well, actually I was in a totally different field. I was in the medical field before I jumped on board. Um, got fed up with the rat race. Um, so I was looking around and watching your videos and um, one day I just decided to take the leap. Um, this year would have been my husband's 60th birthday. Um, unfortunately, I lost him six years ago. Um, this was the year he was gonna retire and we were gonna start to travel. Um, so I just took the leap of faith um, after I was in the program about six weeks or so. Um, decided to leave my job. Um, I was wasting commuter time traveling an hour and a half each way back and forth to work. So um, some personal issues came up and um, kind of landed. I just decided that that was it. So I um, decided to work on this full time. But as I found out along the way, um, life happens again. So I'm more working on this part-time for right now, but it, it's given me the opportunity to do that. Um, I'm, I'm not the technical person. My husband was the technical person. So it's taken me a little while to get through all that, um, but I've had it my own business before. Um, I'm used to hard work. Um, about 10 years ago, I went back to school, worked midnight in a hospital full-time and went to school during the day. So uh, that's not a stranger to me. So um, my original goal was to um, be up and running by year end. So I'm kind of still on track, moving a little bit slower than I wanted, but um, getting all the pieces of the puzzle in order. Yeah, absolutely. And I love your story that you shared with us because your company is really uh, named in, in kind of in honor of your husband. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Because I think that's a beautiful story. Yeah, um, we love to travel. Um, we always did the vacations with the kids. And um, even when I was younger, my family traveled. We did weekend trips, whatever, in the summer if we, you know. Um, and then um, when we got married, we traveled. We had kids. We always, we camped a lot. So we did camping weekends all the time. Um, as we have three boys, so as the boys got older, um, and starting to leave the nest, I said to him, well, you know, I think maybe we better decide if we still like each other after all this time, because we were married for 31 years. Um, so we always still did the family vacation, but then we always made time for ourselves. Um, and um, surprisingly and ominously, um, the last vacation we took together um, was in May of two thir 2013. Um, and my husband loved trains. Everywhere we went, we had to find a train ride. So mm -hmm. you can imagine my husband and three boys. So I was the outcast and I had to pick up the end. I always did um, submarines and that type of thing, the guy things and the trains, they were all train yeah. fanatics. So um, for our um, anniversary and our trip that year, we did, um, we had started taking trips over Memori Memorial Day. So, cause we all had the long weekend and take time. Um, so I booked this um, a train car on the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Yeah. So we got to spend um, four nights in a 1942 sleeper car That's amazing. right on the old tracks at the Chattanooga Choo Choo. So um, since this was going to be our year to travel, um, that's what gave me the push and a leap of faith. Um, yeah. So I did, decided to do this in his honor. We have two granddaughters that he didn't get to see. Um, Gracie just turned six and Evie's two and a half. Um, so I want to be able to travel with them yeah. and pass his love of traveling, our love of traveling onto them. And um, this is affording me time to spend more time with them. Evie's in North Carolina. So um, since I left the corporate world, I'm able to pack up my computer and take it with me and work with things in North Carolina. and be there for Gracie when she needs me. Um, so yeah, it's um, kind of an honor and a blessing and um, a whole new I want to just cherish his memories instead of being 
sad all the time, deciding to make it a memorable experience because we had tons of fun. So, and I want to help, I want to help people, other people yeah. add yeah. travel to their legacy. That's amazing. I love that. And just sharing your love of travel to the next generation. And also you're entering a whole new season of, you know, moving from corporate and this is what you want to do in your retirement and you've traveled your whole life. So why not? I love that. Right. What's been your biggest win or celebration since taking the program? Um, pretty much the freedom yeah. I have right now. Um, able to spend time with my parents and time with my granddaughters and my boys. Um, being, like I said, less, less travel on the road, less stress, commuter traffic. I mm -hmm. pick up my computer and now I'm back to kind of the daytime with family. And then when I settle down for the night, it's my business time. So I kind of reverse things back to the way it was a few years ago. Yeah. So, um, nighttime's my work time. Um, daytime's pretty much my family time these days. So um, it. it's a win-win and like I said, I'll just take it as it comes and just be able to um, get to experience things and, and go things. Um, this weekend, I am going on a hot air balloon ride. So, oh, wow. Yeah, crazy. something Brad and I wanted to do for his 60th birthday. So um, I have a friend going with me and we're going to upstate New York. Um, the leaves are all turning here now, so oh, hopefully yeah. it'll be beautiful and I have lots of pictures to share. Yeah, the fall foliage. I love that. That yeah. is that's beautiful. And and now you get to share that with this community you're building for your travel business with the pictures and the imagery and your family, which is yes. the whole thing. I love that. So um Tony, you know a big part of our program is mindset you know, how do you make that shift? How do you go into a new season confidently? How do you open a business that maybe you didn't have a background in? How did the mindset work in the program help you in either your life or your business? Um, a combination of both. You have to get that mindset that things are positive. Um, you can make a difference. Um, you have to approach each day. It's yours to make it. Um, I've learned that the hard way. Um, life does happen, but you're given the hand you're dealt and you have to learn to make the most of it. So, um, trust me, I fall off of that wagon a little bit and the mindset always wanders. Yeah. Um, but you just have to stay focused and positive, um, and realize that I am blessed to be able to be here with my parents. I am blessed to be able to be here with my granddaughters and share that legacy with, of my husband with them. And, um, it has afforded me this opportunity to do what we wanted to do and I will be able to share it with my family and with everybody else. I love to talk about travel with people. So I love, I know you do. You have such a passion for it, which is, which is amazing. That's why we're here, right? Well, Talk yeah, when I did a, um, I was in the medical field. I did a, um, aspiring leaders program uh -huh. and we had to do, um, a talk one day, um, and I chose not to talk about medicine. I chose to talk about travel. So, um, and the speaker said to me, she's like, e one day you're not going to be in this hospital. You're going to be out in the travel world. Cause she said, yeah. you light up when you talk about travel. So, yeah. and, it, and that's where it starts, right? Like you feel that little tap on your shoulder. You feel that little, it's all, it's, it was part of what you and your husband and your family did and love. So it's always been like that little piece in the back. And I think so many people, are like, yeah, I love it, but how would I curtail it into a, a career? So take us back to initially when you were thinking about making this transition, was that when you found us, was it hard for you to jump in? Were there any hurdles you had to overcome? What was that process personally like for you before committing to our program? Um, me being a widow, it was like, I have to give up a guaranteed income. I have to give up guaranteed health insurance. Um, can I make it? Can I, do I have enough to tide myself over till I start making money in the industry? So um, that was it. That was the biggest thing. Um, and then I sat down and I'm like, I had the what if questions. And my favorite saying is, what if I fall? And then they say, oh my dear, but what if you fly? Exactly. Um, and I could just feel Brad on my shoulder. Um, 
saying, go for it. I got you. So, um, yeah, it took a little while, a little coaxing, um, cause I had that comfort. <laughs> I mean, I know I, um, I can tell when he's with me, I get signs all the time. So, um, yeah, it was just that fact that the reassurance you, that reassurance you kind of needed to. Move yeah. Forward. Yeah. I love it. So, and now you've been through the program, you have the tools, the resources, you have a roadmap on exactly how to set everything up. So are you, is it, is it helping you feel more confident? Like you have what you need to, to grow and, and do what you want to accomplish with your personal business? Absolutely. Um, like I said, I'm not the techie person, Bradless the techie person. Um, so it's giving me that confidence. Um, I'm a people person. Um, my business before was a special occasions business, so I did weddings and flowers and that type of things. Um, but I have the abilities now with the year plan, everything's in black and white. I have your recordings. Um, I'm able to get on that website. May take me a few days, but I eventually get to that answer. I have to stop and think a little bit where, you know, but I eventually get there. Um, so once I get, I'm sorry, now I have little pieces all over the place, but the puzzle's coming together. Yes. Um, and I'm still on track for year end, like I had originally planned. So, um, it's, it's all good. It's, it takes, it's, the, it takes the guesswork out when you have that roadmap and it's kind of like ABC, one, two, three. Right. How, how would you, if ever, would you have been able, would you have been able to put this whole thing together on your own? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love your honesty. Not all the pieces of the puzzle. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, definitely not. I'm not, I'm not the um, black and white reader type. I'm the hands-on type. Yeah. Um, I used to tell Brad, um, I need this to work. You set up the computer. You set up my Excel. Yeah. And he did it. And I did my books that way. And, you know, um, but I've, I'm learning, I've learned to do that on my own. So yeah. um, and having the team, right. Cause we were there 12 weeks, anything you need in terms of support, set up all that good. Absolutely. Stuff. You guys yeah. were a click, a phone call, whatever away. Um, yeah. any questions? Um, everybody in the group was helpful. All the members in the group were helpful. So yeah, it's been a great experience. I wouldn't change it for the world. Yay. So last question, what would you tell someone else who's out there in your same shoes thinking about making this transition? Would you recommend careers on vacation? Absolutely. Um, just do it. Um, there's no, there is no guarantees in life. Um, yeah. In five years and now, I don't want to look back and say, well, what if? Now I know what if I've taken that chance and I'm going to make it work. I love it. And yeah. now you have the tools, the confidence, the roadmap. Your business is launched, right? You have your business. It's launched. It's out there. You're ready to book travel. So yep. I, I love it, Tony. It's been such an honor to help you with your, your story from the beginning. It, had, it was one of those where it had a lot of heartstrings attached with you know, your husband and your family. And, and we've been able to incorporate that, I think in your, in your, the, in your business story, it's that Absolutely. authentic extension of who you are. So I'm so excited to see what, what you do with this amazing company as you grow and listen, you're going into our grad group. So that's one of those things where, uh, you know, ongoing, uh, check-ins and support and all that good stuff as you grow or absolutely keep us updated on how you're doing oh and you're coming to our disney gold digger I'm coming to disney. Yes, I'm gonna be what do you person. do when you graduate cov you go to disney world That's right. you go to disney. You're, and she's going to disney and i'm going to disney yes That's right. i love it i love it so much well guys listen if you are in the same spot tony was just around 12 weeks ago where you're wondering how do i launch a travel business the right way how do i put infrastructure in place how do i start selling travel how do i do it the right way so I can move into a new season, so I can make money, so I can maybe leave my job like Tony just did, right? Reach out to us at cruiseonvacation.com forward slash ready now and apply for the mastermind. Let's learn a little bit about your goals, do that discovery call. That's a process that Tony went through. And if it's a match, if we can help you get to your goal, then we'll invite you into the program. We have a few spots left uh, going into the next quarter. So keep that in mind. Uh, we do only work with a certain limited amount of people at a time because you really do, Tony, you work with me every week, right? Like I'm Absolutely. On. <laughs> I Absolutely. Can, yeah. 
<laughs> so you're able to work with me and my whole team of experts, which is amazing. But because we like to make sure we have that customized approach, we have, we limit the number of people that we can invite into the program. So Tony, thank you for sharing your beautiful story with us. We wish you so much love and abundance as you move forward in your travel business. Thanks a lot. I loved it. Thanks so much. We'll talk soon. Okay. All right. See ya. Yep.